What would it mean to you, your career, your company? If every time you stood up in front of five, 50 or 500, in a boardroom, training center or convention hall, if you were confident, you were powerful, persuasive, professional, compelling on message and a resounding success. How often have you sat in an audience and been mesmerized by a speaker? Was it their compelling content, their personality and stage presence? Did they make a deep emotional connection that made you think, wow, the speaker is talking just to me? If we were to flip a coin, how often have you been that speaker? Did you make an indelible connection? Do you make that connection every time you speak? Let's get started on the journey of you becoming a powerful, persuasive presenter. There are a few basics you need to understand before we launch into your next presentation. Remember, the purpose of speaking is to order, clarify and intensify the experience for the audience. If you occasionally or frequently speak in public, to small or large audiences, the question to ask yourself is, am I practicing to improve or to reinforce bad habits? Of course, we're doing both. To create your speech structure, your first step is to answer the question based on your subject. What is your premise or central theme? This is the big idea you want to get across. If I were to ask you, if you had one sentence rather than 20 or 45 minutes for your presentation, what would you say? If your answer is in one sentence and not a paragraph, you probably have your central theme. This is what I call the premise of your presentation. The dictionary definition of a premise is a basis of argument leading to a conclusion. Once you have your premise, then you list your key talking points or what I call your points of wisdom into the outline of your presentations. Your talking points prove your premise. They make your case for you. You will remember that there are three ingredients in every presentation. They are the content, the structure, and then the delivery. The more you work on clarifying your content, organizing your structure, then adding some initial scripting, the easier it will be for you to have professional sounding delivery. You wouldn't build a home without a blueprint. You would not drive to another city without a map or good instructions. This is the same with your speech structure. We call this course the skeleton under the flesh of your words because it's the clearest explanation I can think of. Once you've decided what content is going to be included into your presentation, you are ready to learn how to organize your content into a strong structure. By now, you have the basic content of your presentation listed. This includes the key ideas, stories, examples, statistics, and quotes from authorities. If you want to accelerate your career, transform sales results, develop leadership skills, or even become an in-demand, highly paid professional speaker, then Fripp Virtual Training is designed for you. The first chunking example. Once you introduce an idea, add a needed explanation, Next, an example of how your idea would apply, then the application for this audience. The second chunking example, you might take a historical view of your content. For example, if you're talking about your sales career or technology or a company's history, you can organize your content in this order. What was in the past? what is happening now in the present, and what we're looking forward to in the future. The third chunking example. 
it would not be unusual for you to have an audience of various mixes of disciplines or divisions of a company or professionals from different companies or industries. For me, in my speaking schools and coaching camps, the audience is made up of professional speakers, would-be professional speakers, business professionals and sales professionals. In this case, you need to make sure the content of your talking points includes how they relate to your content. Welcome to You Have Choices, Options of Openings, The Techniques. As you soon will come to discover, our subtitle is How to Open Your Presentation with Impact. At the beginning of a speech, presentation, seminar, client meeting, report to senior management, sales presentation, or any manner of presentation you deliver, you need to arouse interest in the subject. After all, we stand in the rain to see a movie. Would you stand in the rain to listen to your presentation? You have 30 seconds to command the attention of your audience. Don't waste it. Certain speech openings captivate, mystify, and create an emotional bond that keeps an audience in the palm of the speaker's hand. What would you give to learn those essential opening words and techniques? Great ways to bond instantly with an audience so you never see them dozing off or wandering out of the room? Don't be boring. Being too predictable is boring. Do not say, good morning, my name is John Smith and I am going to talk about. In most circumstance, the audience knows who you are and if you do have to introduce yourself, say something of interest first. There are dozens of ways to open your presentation. And these techniques are not presented in any preferred order. The best way to start depends on your style and the purpose of your message. Opening option number six is an interesting statistic. If possible, start with an interesting statistic that is not known by your audience. When I was addressing 350 Seventh-day Adventist pastors on the subject of how to design and deliver a more charismatic sermon, as you heard in other FRIP virtual training courses, we always need to ask ourselves, what is the audience thinking? This is based on the subject, the situation, or the resume of the speaker. I realized the pastors would be thinking, this speaker is the only person on a three-day program who's not a minister. How can she tell me how to create a more charismatic sermon? After all, I create a new one every week. I bet she isn't even a Seventh-day Adventist, which I'm not. A great way to build your credibility is to use a statistic from your audience's world. My opening line was, 465 times in the Bible, it said it came to pass. It did not say it came to stay. And unless your sermon is well constructed, artfully crafted and charismatically delivered, it would not come to stay in the hearts, minds, and lives of your congregation. FRIP Virtual Training is a multi-million dollar, state-of-the-art, web-based training platform. It is designed to closely emulate personal training and coaching. It's almost as if I am sitting with you 24-7 as your own personal speech coach and sales trainer. I guarantee if you've heard a good speech, sermon, or business presentation that you enjoyed and remembered, at least one reason that made it memorable was the stories. Everybody loves a good story, and that is part of their power. No matter what our culture, we grow up feeling that hearing a story is somehow a reward. Stories are how we learn values and our family's legacy.
When we're in school, stories make history come alive. In business, we quickly discover that stories help us co explain complex issues and are the best way to connect to co-workers, customers, and audiences of all sizes and makeup. Wise leaders, managers, sales professionals, professional speakers, consultants, trainers, in fact, anybody with ambition who wants to make a difference will do well to develop an arsenal of great stories. These stories will provide clear, dramatic examples. No matter what position or level you find yourself, good stories help differentiate you from your competition. Good stories that are interesting, memorable, and illustrate your message can inspire and motivate, train and teach, convince and persuade. When an audience of one or one thousand listens to your stories, they must find them interesting, have an emotional connection, and find the lesson to be learned from them. It has to be obvious how the story ties to the points you are making at that time in your presentation. Our goal as a speaker is always to speak, to be remembered, and repeated. We want you to understand how to speak for impact and results. The next step is important to your ability to deliver your message like the relaxed leader you want to appear. Your audience will feel confident when you look comfortable. Remember, nobody knows how you feel. They just know how you act. Behind the scenes, rehearse your opening lines, practice smiling, and get the rhythm of the speech in your body. Whenever possible, before you speak, talk to some of your audience. This is what I call the schmooze factor. You are warming up your body and your voice, getting comfortable with the words coming out of your mouth. If this is not possible, and for high-level executives, often it is not, if you are backstage, pace and rehearse your opening lines and go through your speech structure. If you have some important, emotionally connecting lines, softly articulate them to yourself. For an example, this is the year, this is the plan, you are the team, go get the sales. What will this new confidence do for your career? Have you thought of the results to you when you are very much in demand to speak and present? Do you have a good grasp of your content? Have a great personality? Are you comfortable in front of a room or on stage? Is your humour natural? How about your storytelling ability? Can you explain the complex to a less technical audience? Our goal is to help you be able to understand the techniques you are incorporating the skills you've already developed, so that you can focus on them, repeat them, and teach others. Certainly being a powerful presenter is not brain surgery or rocket science. However, I guarantee it might be a tad more complex than most people realize. Don't worry, that's why I'm here as your personal coach. Together we're going to be working to guarantee that you're comfortable and competent in all speaking situations. Fripp VT Powerful Persuasive Presentations is my highly interactive, learn at your own pace virtual training around all area of presentations. It is almost as if I am there sitting next to you join and take advantage of my 30 plus years experience and in-depth study. Make the commitment to your career. Reap the benefits of Fripp VT by making it a consistent part of your personal development. You'll be glad you did.